Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Arma Guides. Today I will be covering the process of setting up an Arma 3 server. More specifically in this video, the process of port forwarding for your Arma 3 server. So let's go ahead and get right into this. So the first thing you will want to do is obtain your current IP address, default gateway, and all that type of information. So we go to your home menu down in the bottom and you will type in CMD, which will bring up man prompt, should be the first option, and we'll open a tab that looks kind of like this. You will type in IP config forward slash all, and you'll hit enter, and you'll scroll up a little bit and you'll have your IPv4 address, your subnet mask, default gateway, and a little bit below that is your DNS server with the preferred DNS server right below that. And that will be all the information you need for the next step. So now you'll go to your home menu and you will search for control panel, which should be the first option that comes up and it'll look something like this. So you'll open that and you'll go to network and internet, view network status and task, and then change adapter settings, which will bring up a window that looks something along these lines. And this will list all of your current network connections. And all but one should be disabled, and the one that is not disabled is the network you're currently connected to. So you will right click on that one, you will go to properties, and then to internet protocol version 4, also known as IPv4. And you'll go to properties on that, which will bring up a window like this. Now this window, by default, will have obtain IP address automatically and obtain DNS server automatically set. So you simply switch it to use the following IP address and use the following DNS server address. And then you will put your IPv4 address that you found in command prompt and your IP address. And then your subnet mask, default gateway, preferred DNS server, and your alternate, alternate DNS server you will fill in with all the information from your command prompt. Now you could technically change this information, but I find it easiest to just set it to what your computer is using at the current time. So once you have done this, you'll simply hit OK, close, 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 and close. And now we can go on to the next step. The next step is the process of actually port forwarding the router. Now this is fairly simple, but it is not common knowledge, so to some people it can seem complex. So you will open up a web browser and type in 192.168 and it should autofill with all the information. And this, what a, the address you type in is different depending on your router model. The most common is 192.168 and then 10.168 and then both those should autofill with all the appropriate information. And once you go ahead and hit enter, it will bring up a page similar to this, which will be the login page for the control panel of your router. Now, by default, username should be admin, and password should be password, and they should all be lowercase. If it's something different from this, it should be labeled on the bottom of your router. And if it's something from, if it's something different from either of those, it is most likely because you have gone into this control panel yourself at some point in time and change those settings so you'll have to log in with whatever information you have set so i will go ahead and log in here and then we can go on to the next step now once you have logged into your router's control panel you should be greeted with a greeted with the page similar to this now this is different depending on the producer of the router and your router's model but they should all be fairly similar and have all the same information now in the Aris SBG 6700 AC, the router I have, you would go to advanced and then port forwarding. Now depending on the, wi the router, this can be under wireless, it can be under network, uh, it can be under home. So just If you don't find it under advanced, I recommend going through all the different tabs because it will be in there somewhere. So you will go to port forwarding and it should bring you to a page similar to this. On some routers, it will say create IPv4, and others it will say create new ports, and some it will say open new ports. It should all be something along those lines, and it should be fairly obvious. So on this router, you just go ahead, click create IPv4, and it'll bring up this page. For your external IP address, you will leave that as 0.0.0.0, .0, .0, .0, .0 
And then for your starting port, you would do 2302. And then for the closing port, 2306. And then for the local IP address, you will use the IP4 address you just set as your static IP. And then for your starting ports, you will do 2302 and then 2306. The description sometimes will just be labeled as name. It can be labeled as different things, but that is simply the name that shows up to describe whatever the port is. So I would recommend just doing Arma 3 because it's simple, easy to remember. You can do Arma 3 server. You can, you can do whatever you want. I personally use Arma 3. Now for your protocol, you will do both. Now an important thing to know is not every router supports the option to port forward both UDP and TCP in a single selection. So you'll have to do this twice, one time selecting TCP and the other time selecting UDP. And I would recommend you just name it like ARMA3 UDP and ARMA3 TCP. And then you'll make sure that this is turned on. If you have to do them separately, you'll make sure they're both turned on. And then simply hit apply or create new port or whatever it is for your router. I already have all these ports set up, so I can simply hit cancel. And once you have that done, you'll be all set up and people should be able to connect to your server. So now we'll go ahead and take a look at the IP address you need to give your friends for them to be able to connect. So finding the IP address to give your friends is super simple. You just go into your web browser and you type in IP and it will be at the very top here. And that is your public IP, IP address. You give this to your friends and when they are in Arma, they will go to the direct connect option in their server browser. They will put in this IP along with a port 2302 and it should bring up the server and they can join. So super simple, super easy to do. And once you have all this set up, you shouldn't ever need to change it unless you set up a new IP or get a new router or something along those lines. So in the next video, I will be covering the process of actually starting an Arma 3 server and a few different ways you can do it. And in the guide after that, I will be covering the process of setting up missions. So if you want, you could build a full on mission and you and your friends can play in worlds that you yourself set up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you guys out and I will see you in the next one.